the story of Musa alayhi salam. I'm not going to say Moses. I'm going to say the name of Musa because we're talking about the Quran. The Quran is filled with the stories from the previous prophets, nations, and people before us. It is through using stories does Allah in his book convey life lessons for us all so that we may know right from wrong. Allah said in the Quran, نَتْلُوا عَلَيْكَ مِنْ نَبَئِ مُوسَى وَفِرْعَوْنَ بِالْحَقِّ لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ صدق الله عز وجل Recite to you from the news of Moses and Pharaoh in truth for people who believe. The Quran chronicles the life of Musa in great detail and emphasis from his birth until his final days. And what I want to say, the first thing I'm going to share with you, if you don't already know, he is the most mentioned in the Quran. He's mentioned 143 times. Musa was born in a family of Israelites living in Egypt. Pharaoh had a dream in which he saw fire coming from the city of Jerusalem, which burns everything in his kingdom except the land of Israelites. And he dreamt a little boy who cut the Pharaoh's crown and destroyed it. His dream was interpreted as one of the male children would grow up and destroy him. So he ordered the killing of all newborn Israelites males. An economist advised Pharaoh that killing the male infants would result in loss of manpower. Therefore, they suggested that they should kill the male infants in one year but spared the next. Aaron, means Harun, was born in the year in which infants were spared, while Moses, means Musa, was born in the year they had to be killed. Musa was born on the wrong year. The year Pharaoh decided to kill the male newborns of the Israelites in light of prophecy of a boy being born that will ruin his kingdom. However, Allah reassured his mother in the magnificent verse where he issued two commands, two prohibitions and two promises. Allah said in his Quran, قال الله عز وجل في كتابه الكريم وأوحينا إلى أم موسى أن أرضعيه فإذا خفت عليه فألقيه في اليم ولا تخافي ولا تحزني إن رادوه إليك وجاهلوه من المرسلين صدق الله العظيم and we inspire to the mother of Moses, suckle him. But when you fear for him, cast him into the river and do not fear. And do not grieve. Indeed, we will return him to you and will make him one of the misanthropes. She obeyed his command with absolute trust and reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.